But what is the bottom line? وَمَن يُضْلِ لِلَّهُ فَمَا لَهُ مِنْ هَاد But whosoever Allah misleads, no one can guide. So we should rely on Allah for guidance. If you want Allah to guide you, then when you stand in the Salah and Fatiha, say, اِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ While we feel it, mean it, intend it. Sincerely. We sincerely ask Allah for Hidayah because without Hidayah, we're nothing. And one of us feels special. You may start to feel special, I may start to feel special, MashaAllah, Muslim, Alhamdulillah, Miya Miya, Ya Akhi, if Allah wants to change that overnight, who's going to, who's going to protect you? And when we transgress, and we continue to follow our desires, then we will be deprived of that protection from Allah. This is why there's a jihad, now the jihad. This is jihad al-nafs. And jihad al-shaytan, until we meet Allah, until you meet Allah, you have to struggle. إِنَّكَ كَادِحٌ إِلَى رَبِّكَ كَدْحًا فَمُلَاقِهِ There's a lot of struggle and effort that has to be done. Doesn't happen while you're lying down on your back, enjoying yourself. There's something that we have to put forth. Sometimes it is against ourselves. Sometimes it is in, in service for others in Islam. But Islam has to be in the picture. Don't let Islam be going to the masjid on Jumu'ah after the Imam is on the minbar or even worse. After the Imam began the Salah, 80% of the people who came for Jumu'ah suddenly show up. 